We've got a look at the roll cast today. The roll cast's a great cast for practicing uh, your hand positions when, as a precursor to spay casting, single spay casting, whatever. And uh, in this short clip, we're going to look at getting that hand positions exactly right and keeping the rod on the correct plane. So, uh, I'll move on and you'll see that at the beginning of the roll cast I'm manipulating with my left hand what's happening with the tip of the rod here. So, my left hand is slowly moving away from my body slowly and at this time the, for the roll cast the rod is moving at exactly the same speed. I left both hands at this point into what we call the key position. You can see the line is still attached to the water. Hands are in the absolute key position, ready to go forward. This is the position that uh, Falkus talked about. It happens in every spade cast. So you can see the right hand, or upper hand is opposite my eyes and the left hand is kind of opposite my chin. My left hand is now going to track down in this sort of manner here. And my upper hand is going to follow it in that circular manner too, down to about here. So we keep inside this circle. It's really, really important that we don't push with our right hand. This is our key point. We don't push with our upper hand, as 99% of people do. We apply effort equally with both hands. So as we run the clip on... You can see that the rod is taking on a massive load there because both hands are kept inside that circle. Absolutely critical to making a good forward cast. So we now see exactly the same thing from a different angle here. And what we're going to look at here is actually the plane of the rod. So the hands are coming up into this key position. The line's still attached to the water because the rod's moving at exactly the right pace. Now the rod begins to track forward. So, the plane of the rod. It's massively important that we keep the rod on exactly the same plane from this point on. If we move plane, um, then the loop will open up and it will compromise the cast. So at this point we have to keep the rod both hands and the tip of the rod in line. You watch that rod stays on that same plane all the way down. A common fault here, very common one, as we'll just rewind that back for people, is to tuck this lower hand here and to finish instead of this position here, to finish here. And this opens up the rod. But if we fish, finish down to the left, it keeps the rod on plane and so the line will end up dead straight. Rid of that here. You'll see it from above. You'll see what happens with the line here. So here's the rod coming up into the key position. You'll see that the line remains attached to the water. What we're doing here is a roll cast, so it remains attached to the water here. Here, here, so we're using the line's grip to provide energy in the rod on the way forward. And you'll see the rod is just about to go forward. My left hand is well away from my body, the right hand opposite my face again. And you'll see that the rod tip is going to follow the line that's on the water. So for a really good cast, here's the line anchored on the water part that's anchored on the water. For a really good cast, you want the rod tip to be right on top of that line as it unloads there. This ensures an absolutely dead straight line because the rod has remained on exactly the right plane and everything's perfect.